Um, okay, so I'll extend um, message. Extrude, move, cross, just eyeball it. That'll do. Now, I want to extrude this along this way, but we need to make sure that, that this side of it is raised up accordingly. So it's going to be there. Yep. So the best view is probably the front. You can sort of see here how it corresponds. So we need to actually, I don't even have to jump views. I'll just have all four views and line it up. Now we know that lines up because we can see it in the front view. Um, okay. Um, okay, so let's just go back to um, edge mode. Yep, edge modes, I'll do it on this side. So that one, again, shift to add to the selection. That one, that one. That one and that one. Extrude, move up. Again, you can sort of see when I'm moving it up and down where you want it to line up. So that top edge. So you can actually still work it in the perspective view, but keep your eye on the in the front view just to until it lines up. If you want it to be a bit more accurate, I guess you can jump views and yeah, that's fine. Great, so now we select this edge. Extrude, move across, frame, and we're gonna merge those together. So we can just simply go to vertex mode, snap to point, that one and that one. Turn the snap off. Merge those two, and there we have it. Okay, so now we might start working on the door section. So select the facade or subject, right click, edge mode, select that particular edge. And what I'm going to do is edit mesh, extrude, move, move it straight up. Now this door section is going to be a separate object and the door is, it doesn't need to be. Again, there's many different ways of doing the same thing, but just to keep it easier, I guess, for the time being, we'll have it as a separate object. So I'll just move this right up here. Just going to keep it there. We're not going to merge or anything because we want this to be a separate object. I'm just using that to line it up. That'll do. So what we want to do, so that what we just did is part of that object, but we want this section to be a separate object. So to do that, we go to face mode, select that particular face, and go to edit mesh. Extract. Okay, so edit mesh extract. Okay, just go back to object mode and you can see that that object is now separate. So by the way, you can see once we've done that, the um, handles here uh, moves. You can still move it, but ideally we want it to be in the center of the object, but that's all right. If it's off center, we can select it, or select the object, go to Modify center pivot and it centers a pivot in a bit more of a, an appropriate place. Go in face mode for that object. Extrude. Now, this is tricky because once I extrude, I won't go to move till I go to the scale tool, which is R on the keyboard, and scale it in. So you see that flickering? That flickering means that there's two polygons at the same spot. Now we're going to delete a polygon in a second, but before we do that it looks a little bit strange. Uh, 
so that one that's still selected, I'll just, yeah, that'll do. I'll delete, delete the other original face. There we go. Should leave those additional polygons that we created in the process. It's a little bit tricky, but I guess if you practice it, it sort of works out. I'll now select those edges. Go edit mesh extrude, move tool, and move them back. I'll select that that bottom edge here. Extrude, move up, line it up more or less at that height. And now we'll do what we did before is go to face mode for that face. Edit mesh, extract, back to object mode. And again, okay, we need to center that pivot again. So modify center pivot. You can see that that door, even though it was made from that edge, is now a separate object and it lines up quite nicely in that gap. That's going to be our door. Some point it'll have a thickness, but for now we won't worry about it. I think that should be all right for now. So it's definitely getting there. Okay. All right, so clearly we need to fill that gap between the door frame and the rest of the window frame. So I guess what we can do, again, to keep it simple, I'll right click, go to edge mode, select that particular edge and extrude and move until it sort of disappears behind that frame. There we go. Okay, nice and solid. So now, vertices. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks all right. I'll just raise it up a little bit. And okay, 